Here's problem 21. It says, which of the following is equal to 7 to the 8th times 7 to the 9th, all raised to the 10th? Well, the first thing we had to do is we got to come in here and think, what the heck does this mean? We might remember the rules that, hey, what you're going to do is it's going to be 7 to the 17th power. You add the exponents. If you forget, you could list out that there's 7 eighths, or 8 sevens, excuse me, 7 times 7 times 7 times 7. Now, 8 times, 7 to the 9th is 7 listed out 9 times, and you'd very quickly see that that 7, how many would you have? Well, if you have 8 here and 9 here, you're going to have 17 of those guys. Now, notice that that whole 7 to the 17th is raised to the 10th power. That means we have 10 of these 7 to the 17th. So I have 7 to the 17th times another one times another one. I have 10 of these guys. Well, if I count up again, that's 17, another 17, another 17. You can easily see that if you have 10 sets of 17, you can have 170 of these 7s. So which of these answers? Choice C would be the same. Pretty easy problem if you just remember your Algebra 1 rules with exponents and think through what it means. Again, 7 to the 8th, what does it mean? You learn very in young age that means you have 8 7s. You have 9 7s here, so you have a total of 17 7s. Then I have 10 sets of 17, so I have 170 sets of the 7.